she came to the White House, she was very interested in how the place worked. She came down here. This was the ground, this still is the ground floor, but it was sort of considered to be the basement because the kitchen was down here, laundry facilities, the storage for food and, and, and tableware and such. And she came down and found that it was rather dilapidated, rather dirty, uh, sort of ominous. And uh, she tried to like spruce it up. She went through the cabinets and found old pieces of china and then asked servants if they could tell her, does anybody remember how old this piece is? So she started the idea of, of trying to catalog and, and create a, a sense of, of what the Chinas were. She had a plan for putting some display cases in the state dining room, uh, but that never came to fruition. But she was, is credited with being the, the initiator of the concept of a permanent China collection at the White House. Mrs. Harrison was interested in designing a China. She wanted it to be American. As other first ladies had discovered, there was not a strong enough porcelain manufacturing industry in America in 1891 when she started looking into new China. So she decided they would go ahead and let a French company make the blanks, but she would provide the design. And so it wasn't a full service. I mean, she didn't try to order uh, 12 or 15 pieces per place setting. Uh, it was designed with a, a shape that was pretty much the Lincoln era shape, that kind of uh, simple. This is a soup plate and a breakfast plate or a tea plate. The eagle was very similar to what was on the Lincoln China that represents the Great Seal of the United States. What she specifically designed was the border that was a combination of ears of corn and goldenrod, which she felt represented American plants, the agricultural plants and corn and wildflowers and the goldenrod. So there was dinner plates and soup plates and breakfast plates made in the blue, and there were also breakfast plates and tea plates made with the white border, and then a series of demi-test cups and saucers. So there weren't uh, all the other shapes that you might have in a state service of, of bowls and cream soup cups and various and sundry things that went with it.